What's going on guys, Schwinn coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today is going to be my last game of the previous season. By the time you guys are watching this, the new season is already starting. By the time I'm recording this, like when I'm recording this, the season actually starts in an hour and a half. So, it's my last game of the season, and tomorrow we should have our first games, or at least first recordings, for the new season. So we're going for 142 or more likes on this video. Feel free to subscribe if you guys are new on the road to 33,000 subscribers. Comment anything down below. Feel free to follow on any of the social medias or sub to the Fortnite channel down in the description. I'm hoping we can either get Rick Ankiel or Jacob deGrom on the mound to have them make their debuts today. You guys can probably already tell if that is the case. I have no idea. Let's hop into this game, hopefully win, and end the season on a good note. We're playing the squared up line out. So our opponent has 99 Ricky Henderson, Tony Gwynn, Roberto Alomar, creative player Ron Swanson at catcher. 99 George Bright, 87 Chipper, 99 Cal, 93 Matt Kemp. Juan Marichal on the mound. We got Rick Ankiel. Making his debut. Let's go. I'm hoping we have a good game here today. And I'm hoping we can win our last game of the season. Yo, Asian sensation. Good luck. Hopefully, you enjoy and end up watching yourself in this video, man. Good luck. I appreciate the message. And I'm glad that you watched the videos. I, I, I would assume you enjoy them because you're sending this message. So, hopefully, you do. And if you do, I'm glad you enjoy them. And good luck to you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Also, I should probably make this clear because i was just reading some comments and I'm, i might be res i might respond to the comments uh but i figured i would mention it in a video so a few videos i think it was yesterday i think in two of my videos i said that tony kemp was matt kemp's son and i thought it was kind of obvious i was joking i mean i, I feel like tony clump tony clump i feel like tony kemp is clearly not matt kemp's son i think matt kemp would have had to have him when he was like eight years old uh it, it was a joke maybe a stupid joke but um, I think a lot of y'all took me seriously, so I just I thought I would let you know in this video uh, that I, w I was joking. I, w <laughs> I wasn't being serious. That's my bad, guys. As he's stealing with Ricky Henderson, 99 speed. You already know he's going to get that stolen base. Tony Gwynn to the shortstop. Out number one. Ooh. Let's see if we can grab him at home. I doubt it. Oh, yeah. man, I didn't even throw the ball until he was over halfway there. So, yeah, that's going to be a quick one to nothing lead. Let's try to have that be the only one. The only, yeah, the only one that we allow in this inning. I was going to say only run, but only one works too. But it still sounds weird to me saying that. As we get a beautiful double play to go to the bottom of the first inning. Ooh, 44 speed. Should be a base hit unless we can get him at first. Nah. I was going to say I doubt it. So Chipper Jones, I believe, grabbed himself a one-out base hit here. Cal Ripken, please be double play. Come on, baby. Turn it. Turn it. Nah, no double play, but at least we got one out, two down here. Top of the second inning with Matt Kemp coming up to bat. Hey, it's Tony Kemp's dad coming up to bat, lining out to Ichiro. Probably a good squared up line on it, whatever our team's, our, our, whatever our opponent's team name is. Going to the bottom of the second, creative player coming up. Hoping to uh, do some of what he did yesterday with that home run ever since changing his stance to Gallows. Create a player, grabbing himself a base hit. Maybe I just needed to change the stance. Maybe that's why I've been doing bad with him. Oh, wait, I just struck out. I don't, I don't know why, but I did not think there were two strikes. Otherwise, I probably would have at least made an attempt to swing. I mean, I would have struck out anyways. I don't know what I'm saying, but either way. I didn't, I didn't think there was two strikes. I thought <laughs> that there was one. It's Tony Gwynn, one and one count to him, one runner on. Tony Gwynn into the gap. Let's go. Tying the game just like that. That's awesome. He should score, right? We're going to go to third, too. Yeah, there we go. That's a triple for Tony Gwynn as we tie the game one-to-one. -one, only one down. Oh, Ricky Henderson into the outfield. We take a two-to-one lead here. Let's go. Oh, man. Cal Ripken Jr. crushes that one. Line drive homer as we extend our lead to three. Four-to-one here. Oh my goodness. Rick Ainkeel. Oh, I thought he had a home run. Dude, I just got so excited. I saw the hanging pitch. I thought we crushed it. Obviously, we missed a little bit. But Rick Ainkeel, man, he's a good hitting pitcher. It's his debut. I was really hoping we would have a home run in his debut. He did square it up. I will say that. So uh, maybe I was reasonable to assume that something was going to happen as Ichiro grabs himself a home run so rick ankyo can't hit a homer but ichiro can what's going on oh ricky henderson might be ended up scoring again he singled and scored in his first at bat now he has a double only one down we're gonna try to keep him from scoring but it's gonna be tough oh man that's gonna be a one out base hit two one out base hits in a row ichiro gonna try to cut him off and get him at second he's not gonna go to second i think he probably would have been safe but 
We're going to try to get a double play or something and get out of this inning. He's stealing. Roberto Alomar swinging and missing. That's a stolen base. And striking out Roberto Alomar. Out number two. Created player coming up. And Rick Ankiel looking to get out of this inning with a three-run lead still intact. Oh, he's created player grabbing a base hit. 2-2 two, two count. Two down in the inning. Couldn't put him away. Cutting our lead to two. This could be a high-scoring game based on how it's going so far. There we go. Getting out of the inning. We're still winning. But I want to try to get some of those runs back. Yeah, Tony Gwynn, two-out base hit. Didn't locate the pitch where I wanted it to. Ricky Henderson not able to run it down. I'm hoping we don't allow him to score. I had a pretty good fourth inning. And uh, I was I was one out away from having a pretty good, uh, pretty good fifth inning, too. We'll see if we can still end it on a good note. There we go. Roberto Alomar popping out. Going to the bottom of the fifth inning. Still winning. 5-3, to three, trying to get some more insurance runs, though. Rick Ankiel, man, I just want a home run in his debut so badly. Not a home run, but he's going to get a base hit in his debut. Uh, I guess I could try going to second. I'm not going to go to second. No, we, I, I don't know. But Rick Ankiel, one for two in his debut. I'll take it. Ichiro, man. I was hoping he would have another home run. He's been hitting a lot of dingers for me recently. I don't know what it is. Maybe he's been hitting the weight room, drinking some milk or something. But he's really been killing it for me. Roberto Alomar has not. His average is just dropping every game. Roberto Alomar, of course. Man, I got to start talking trash about all the guys I'm struggling with because they always then start getting hits for me. I don't know what happens. Frank Thomas up the middle. Let's go. Getting through for a base hit. We're going to send that runner home. Extending our lead to three now. Create a player, man. Ever since I changed the Joey Gallo stance, the ball has been flying off of his bat. That one's warning track power, but still, it's like he's hitting it hard. He's hitting it far. And maybe that's what I needed to do to start doing better with him. Matt Williams going the other way. Right to Tony Gwynn. After five innings, we're winning. Six to three here. Tony Gwynn. Starts our half of the sixth inning, I believe, off with the base hit. I want Rick Ankiel to get another at bat, but I feel like next time he comes up, I should probably pinch hit for him. Because, you know, we're, we're, we're nine outs away from winning, and if he comes up in this inning, it's like, do I want him back out there, or should I just go to my bullpen? I guess it kind of depends on what happens with this batter and the next one. Because if they, if they both get on base, and we have the bases loaded, it's like maybe I should go to a pinch hitter. As Ricky Henderson has a one-two count to him, one runner sitting on first base here. And striking out with Ricky Henderson. Okay. Stealing with Tony Gwynn. Had a leadoff step, and we're getting the stolen base. That's what I'm talking about. Cal. He might beat that out. I doubt it, but he might. I was going to say, I, I doubt he is. So we got one runner on third. I'm, I'm leaving him, Rick, Rick Ankiel. I, I have to do it. He needs to hit a home run. Rick Ankiel, dang, man. I just wanted to hit a home run today with him so badly, but one for three with a good squared up line out like... That's a pretty solid debut for him at the plate. On the mound, he really hasn't done that bad. Ever since I switched to this camera angle for pitching this game, I'm sure it's a placebo, but I've been doing a little bit better. I'm probably going to for the rest of the current Battle Royale run that I'm on, which you guys have probably already seen two videos from it today, if my videos are going up how, how I'm thinking they will. So you guys have already seen it. I'm, I think I'm going to use this camera angle for the games and that uh, while I'm trying to stay undefeated today and see if it helps me at all at pitching. Oh man, Matt Kemp. I love how, I love how I, 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 I'm talking up my pitching since I switched to this camera angle, whatever. And then we go and give up a home run. <laughs> That's just kind of funny to me. Trevor Story, pinch hit base hit. The tying run comes up to the plate in the seventh. I should probably start warming some people up in the bullpen, don't you guys think? He's stealing with Trevor Story. I doubt we have him. Yeah. Runner in scoring position. position one down. 0-2 count to Ricky Henderson. A strikeout would be huge. And Ricky Henderson, ball four. 0-2 to, to, to four straight balls and a walk. Tony Gwynn coming up. Probably Rick Ankiel's last batter, if not one of them. Wow. No. Yo. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So, a, a patch months ago, they said that diamond fielders should not make errors on routine plays. Do you think this was a routine play? What do you guys think? I feel like that's a routine play. That's just me. I think it's a routine play. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. If you disagree, 
feel free to let me know why. My my only thinking is it was 101 off the bat. You know, that, that could be reason enough to think like, hey, it's not a routine play because it was hit 100 or more off the bat. Like that, that's the only thing I can really think of for why people might disagree. But that's tough. That's tough. And I'm hoping it doesn't come back to bite us. And striking out Roberto Alomar. That's huge. Oh, man. What a debut for Rick Ankiel. That was a great debut. I know he allowed a good amount of runs and everything, but I was happy with that debut. And uh, I'm, excited. I, I, I'm excited to have him get at least hopefully one more start for me. Because I want to get Bob Gibson. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking I'll re probably replace the number five spot in my rotation with Bob Gibson, which is currently Jacob DeGrom was Adam Wainwright. But in 25 innings, I had like an eight ERA with him. So I figured it was kind of stupid for me to keep Adam Wainwright in and just keep doing bad. I figured it was good to try to replace him as Ichiro gets a leadoff hit in the bottom of inning number seven. Roberto Alomar should be an out on number one. Frank Thomas grabbing himself a base hit. Okay, okay. Create a player. Hanging up a little bit too much. Out number two. Matt Williams. Man. I needed those insurance runs. I feel like we're six outs away from winning. Billy Wagner's on the mound. I'm going to try my hardest to win this game and everything. But that was a that was a big opportunity there. And I felt like those would have been really important runs. Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn with an infield single to start this inning. I, I, not sure exactly what happened, but uh, let's try to drive him in. Bottom of the eighth inning, we we want to try to get some more insurance runs as Ricky Henderson now is hit with a pitch, and uh, Cal Ripken looking for his second home run of the game. Cal Ripken, I think it could drop honestly. That's gonna be close. Yeah, that's dropping in for a base hit. So we're gonna have a pinch hitter, nobody down with the bases loaded here. And ball four to Kyle Schwarber, walking home a run. Base is still loaded, nobody down. Ichiro coming up to bat. Ichiro into the outfield, going to score at least two. Yo, no, 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 no. What the heck? Yo, what the, what, 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 no, 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 no. What did I do? Oh, dudes, uh, no, no, I don't want to see any mention of that in the comment section. Please, don't roast me. Please, please, please. Roberto Alomar getting a base hit. Bases are still loaded, man. <sighs> what did I do? I don't even know what I did. I thought I was fine with whatever I was doing with my controller, but apparently not. Frank Thomas striking out, man. I didn't want to swing at it, but it looked like it was going to be a strike, so I felt like I had to. My creative player coming out one for four today, trying to be two for five. Created player grand slam. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about as we extend our lead by four. Let's go, baby. That's huge. Oh, man. Matt Williams now into the outfield. Where was this hitting earlier today? If you guys watched earlier today's video, where was this? Where was this hitting earlier today, man? I'm disappointed in myself. Tony going up the middle. I'm probably not going to send the runner just because... I don't want to risk it and be thrown out. I want to try to keep the inning going. One thing that I will say, okay, is that my ranked seasons game earlier today was my first game of the day today. Even though it wasn't the first video, it was my first game. So I feel like, I don't know about y'all, and feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you do anything to warm up. I feel like jumping into legend difficulty, especially after my, my last games of the day yesterday were on All-Star. I feel like it's a little bit hard for your first game of the day to jump into a legend difficulty game and expect to play well. That's just my thinking. I feel like maybe it's best to warm up at least a little bit, but that's just my thinking and my excuse maybe for why I did so bad <laughs> in that game earlier. As we're three ounce away from winning after some huge insurance runs. Matt Kemp, one down in the top of the ninth inning. I think that's his second homer of the game with Matt Kemp. GG to Matt Kemp. A lot better uh, for him than for me. Ricky Henderson keeps the game alive. Two down, top of the ninth inning. Tony Gwynn not quite able to field that one. Ricky Henderson grabbed himself a double here in the, uh, in the top of the ninth with two down. Tony Gwynn to Ricky Henderson. And we're winning the game. Yo, Asian Sensation, GG to you, man. Hopefully you enjoy watching yourself in this video. We're going to do... <laughs> look at the double chins on my helmet. We're going to go ahead and check what my rating went up by uh, for this last game of the season, what we ended the season at. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check what my rating went up by. And then I feel like there was something else I wanted to check, but I don't remember. I don't think there was now, now that I think about it. 
I want to make sure I, I could do it in this video. I want to make sure I, uh, I I set my camera angle to pitcher offset just so we can try it out for the battle royale run uh, that you guys have already seen today. But just so I don't forget to do that. So we got plus 16 up to 958 and uh, <laughs> in the hair tonight. That's funny. And uh, we're ending the season at 958. Couldn't break my personal record, but that's fine. That's what next season is for. If you all enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Feel free to follow on any of the social medias or sub to the Fortnite channel in that description. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.